sexually violent predator who surprised many by getting out on parole is heading back to prison tonight. A Contact 7 investigative reporter Jace Larson is live on this one. Uh, this man's surrounded in controversy, Jace. Yeah, because he violated the terms of his parole two years ago and then somehow managed to get back out on parole. Then this year he screwed up again and now he is headed back to the big house. Christopher Lawyer is not who you'd choose to be your next door neighbor. He's admitted to having compulsion to rape. The Boulder County yes. DA's office prosecuted him in 2000. Over the course of two days, Lawyer attempted to sexually assault a woman in Boulder. He flashed a gun to another woman, then duct taped a third woman and raped her for hours. Underscoring why prosecutors never wanted him out, he then told the victim that he was sorry their first date was a little awkward. After 16 years in prison, he got his first parole. Then his parole officer caught him with rape porn. That's when his well-connected mother, who knew the governor and the head of the Department of Corrections, was recorded on a call with her son in jail. So I call the parole board, which I guess you normally can't do, but I have their, their cell phones, right? Right, right. She continued to brag about her connections to important people, like the number two at parole at the time. This may be a really long fight because yeah. I, you know, I thought just calling Allison would take care of it. It didn't, and Lawyer was penalized with six months in jail, but then paroled again. He moved to California, where he was then caught asking a woman for porn and looking at porn himself. Both no-nos went on parole. Oddly, that woman later disappeared, though Lawyer's not considered a suspect in her disappearance. All of this brings us to today, when the parole board had apparently had enough with Christopher Lawyer. They sent him back to prison, at least for now. He's failed at every single opportunity to be rehabilitated, and he presents a constant and ongoing risk to the community, and he belongs in prison. Lawyer can still requ a request that the parole board let him out on parole next year. His sentence, though, is up to life in prison. Live in the newsroom, Jace Larson, Denver 7.